Okay, this is a tutorial for how to create a Gary's Mod game mode. It's assuming that you have little or none coding experience with Lua. So you'll need to find your Gary's Mod slash Gary's Mod folder. Um, this is where you go to install add-ons and maps. If you don't know where this is, then I'm not sure you should be creating a game mode. So, go into your game modes folder, and then to create a new folder here. It's going to be whatever you want your game mode to be called. So, for my example, I'm going to call it uh, Peanut Butter. So, I'm going to open this file up. I'm going to create another folder in here called Game Mode. This is where the code is that makes your game mode run. I like the, uh, oh, how do I describe this? Like the under the hood stuff have content. All of your content will go in here, which would be like your uh, you know, your uh, models and sounds and everything. And then another one called entities, which will contain all of your entities, which would be like if you're making a capture the flag game mode. It would be like the flag would be an entity. Um, there's a lot of other examples, but then we're going to create a new text document called info.txt. I'll have a uh, part in the description that you can copy and paste into it, but for now I'm just going to go get one of my other ones. Customize this to whatever you want. So, like, you know, butter 0 0.1. <coughs> so, we'll, uh, close that. That should be all we need in that file for now. Then we'll go into our game mode folder. We're going to create some Lua files, so just make a new text document, open it, save as, then go in that folder and call it init.lua, change this to all files, it's important, make sure you do that, leave encoding like this, don't change it, and save, and then that will appear there, then open your text document again, save as, all files. We're going to call it cl underscore init, which is for your client. The init file that we just created, the first one, is for uh, it's all the server side things. I should probably describe this. Um, there are there's server side Lua, and there's client side Lua, and there's a Lua that runs on both of them, and it's called shared. So, I'm creating the shared file right now. I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. Okay. So, now we have our three files. I'll try my best to explain this. Um, just like kind of visually, you're like, you have your server side stuff, which the server runs. So, the server handles everything like where the player is, where all the entities are, and what they're doing. The client, it handles rendering things, so like what it looks like, what color it is, and like, um, I don't know, like what, how transparent it is, or uh, just things of that nature, and the HUD and everything. All your menus will go in here, and uh, shared handles things that are, need to be run on both of them. So like the teams set up, because for example, the client might need the teams because it needs to know um, the team colors and everything. So you need to render teams on both the client and the server. And the server handles things like how big props are and where they are and what they're colliding with and all the physics and everything. So it's 
set up our teams, first we're going to go in here. Now I've got an example code from one of my game modes that I've created. I'll go ahead and put this in here. Don't be scared by this wall of text. We'll dissect it. So I'm going to paste this in here. I'll have something like this in the description too. But again, I'm going to put my game's name in here and the author's name, which is myself, Jack Frost. And then derive game mode. Okay, what this does derives the game mode from sandbox. So, for example, you'll be able to use like the physics gun, the tool gun, the uh, the spawn menu, thrusters, everything like that. Like 90% of the time, you want to use derived game mode from sandbox, unless you're driving it from another game mode. And sometimes, if you're making a really big, complicated game mode, then you won't derive from anything and you'll just set it up yourself but I really don't recommend that for your first game mode I would always derive from sandbox for now um, this thing right here what it does it fixes a bug that occurs um, I'm not going to explain how it works just make sure you put it in there because like sometimes we get weird bugs if it's not in there um, team.setup okay so just gonna try to make this kind of simple here. Okay, this is a uh, a method. We use this method to make teams. Um, so if we go in here, it has. It's also called a function, but it's like the built-in functions are called methods. So at least that's what I call them. Um, you want to go in here and every function has arguments okay, not every function but most functions have arguments so if we're going to set up a team we can't just say okay we're setting up this team that's it okay I guess we could but that wouldn't be any good because like you have no way of identifying it or like knowing what its name is or its color so we're going to create a team here and every time that I create things I use this website as reference wiki.garysmod.com I'll post that in the description um, it's not like cheating it doesn't make you a bad coder that you use it like I use it every time I code most coders do so we're gonna go to the team library a library is a list of functions in it like uh, here we have team dot in front of every one of these so that we know we're talking about team and then we have this all of these so team dot setup is the one we're looking for and here we have a file all about it like what its arguments are here and a description of what it does an example and additional notes about it extremely useful especially while you're learning so like the arguments we need here we need team index team name and team color uh, joinable you don't really need this on this example I mean you can put it in there if you want it to not be joinable put false but by default on this function is true so we don't have to put anything so um, also these right here are the value types so like an integer is just a number to identify it by a uh, string that's the team name color and it's a color and it's in uh, red green blue alpha format so we're going to go back in our file here and we can see all our arguments here that we need to put in so uh, usually you always make the first team number one I guess you can make a zero but I'm going to go with one we're going to call it um, creamy peanut butter and also you need to put a uh, comma between all your arguments and then usually a space to keep things clean and uh, color here's how we set up color I'm going to make a new tab I'm using Google Chrome if you didn't notice that okay color color is another one you don't 
need the end one. Usually if there's a function where you don't need one of them, they put that on the end usually. There's a few exceptions, but um, you don't need alpha, and since we don't want to have a team with like a transparent team color, we're not going to use that. Because if you don't put it in, it automatically assumes that it's like completely opaque. So, color RGBA. Also, you can find charts of a. Uh, you can look at the colors and see what their <coughs> their code would be. So here, I'm just gonna do like. 255, 255, 0. And that'll be some color, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it'll be a mixture of red and green. Uh, so after team color, we need. Okay, we don't need joinable, my bad. So make sure you end it with a parenthesis. You always have to start your functions with a parenthesis and then end it to tell what's inside of it. Except when you're making new functions and then I'll get to that later so we're gonna do creamy peanut butter I'm gonna make another team here just for a okay. now we have our two teams set up and we can save this and go ahead and uh, close it. Okay, and here we're also going to need to edit our init file. Okay, I usually leave a space at the top. I'm not just kind of something I do. I don't know. But you're going to put includes in here. We have to include the shared file in here so that it runs because it won't how this shared file works is this uh include includes all of this code in this window in the shared in here so it's like having if I copied and pasted this in here it'd be the same and then I have to copy and paste it in client too so instead of writing it out, out twice I'm gonna do that instead So you'll want to So you'll want to close this because you need this include in here. So I'll close that. So now, we'll just save this, close it for now, and in it we need to put the same thing. Okay. This is my first tutorial of my line of tutorials of making a game mode for Gary's mod. Thanks for watching.